So my trading setup videos have always been some of the most popular, such as the dual 49 inch God mode setup or the massive dual Dell 43 inch monitor setup. I don't exactly have that over here right now. So I figured I needed to do some sort of upgrade and I didn't want to go too crazy like the God mode setup. But what I did want to do was get the top spec 49 inch wide monitor that you could buy. And that's none other than the Samsung 49 inch G9 Odyssey. So let's open this bitch up. So let's drag this thing over and start opening it up. Before I do open it up, let's just talk about the specs, which are absolutely insane. We got a 1000R curved screen, 49 inch widescreen, QLED, NVIDIA G-Sync, 240 hertz refresh rate. Can the MacBook handle that? I don't know. One millisecond response time. Let's go ahead and take this Ikea knife to use it to open up, because that's probably the only thing that Ikea knives are good for is opening up cardboard. Probably not the recommended cooking knife. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't have a cameraman with me right now. What you're seeing is the DJI Ronin RS2 use ActiveTrack 3.0. Just opening this up, I'm really, interesting, really interested to see what this thing actually looks like in real life because it obviously looks super futuristic when I see other photos and videos. Some people have been saying it's a little plasticky, which kind of concerns me. It looks cool. First, we got Power cables, warranties, installation guide. Now what the fuck is this? Faceplate. Wow, that is a big wishbone. The seat, the legs. What is all this stuff? I have no idea what this is. This is a bowl for, for your cereal in the morning. Nice little touch. Look at this. That is a fucking banana. If I ever saw a banana. It's a boom box. What is up guys, brief interruption here. I got some big news. Iconic FX and Camfoos has just partnered up with HeyForex.com, the number one trading broker in the game. And let me tell you why. First of all, all of you guys want low deposits. We got low deposits. All you guys want big leverage. We got 500 to one. And not only is this a Forex broker, you can trade Forex, you can trade crypto, you can trade stocks, you can trade CFDs, which means you can trade gold, silver, oil, basically every asset. Never miss a trade again by partnering up with us and joining Hey Forex Broker. I just joined as well, checked it out. You can use MT4 on your desktop as well as your mobile. It's absolutely insane to have this much leverage and be able to trade every asset and never miss a trade again. So check it out, heyforex.com. There's gonna be a link below to get started right now and start your journey. All right, things don't always go according to plan, but look at this. This is a massive curved fucking banana. All right. I'm turning off active track on DJI because that maybe just ruined the whole intro of the video and really did not work. But just opening this up initially, what the hell is this thing? This is literally a banana. <laughs> I've never seen something like this in my life as far as a monitor to have this much curve. Like, you know, the LG 49 inch monitors that we are using for the God mode setup, the curve on that was this minuscule. I don't even know if there was a curve. Maybe there was a little bit of a curve, but this looks like an immersive experience that's literally gonna wrap around my fucking face. And so I'm really excited to put this thing together and set it up over here and just see what it looks like. Let's do that. Fuck guys. I broke the turbocharger k air filter. <sighs> Looking at the back ports here, we have an HDMI, display port, display port, something else, and two USB cables as well as headphone inputs. I imagine I just broke this thing. Maybe it can go in without it. Even though I broke it, it still fits. And I think this lights up like a fucking cyborg. Look at as I turn this thing around. Just the sheer curve and nature of this beast is fucking mind blowing. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I like Kirby girls though. This is really a two man job if we're being honest here. What the fuck is going on here? One hour later. Is some kind of joke? What's this fucking cereal bowl for? Am I supposed to do something with this cereal bowl? What? Oh boy. Much, much later. It's quite simple, folks. You just use the laws of physics. I was trying to hold things up when I could have just mounted it like this. There's actually a small bracket. They snap it in. My life got way fucking easier. I think there's plastic broken there. Yeah. 
does not seem correct. I think it works. Turn my drill. Now, holy shit. That is absolute insanity. What is this gonna look like when you're sitting right here or when I'm sitting right there and looking at it? Oh my fucking God, Cam, what have you got yourself into now? What is up, guys? To be honest, it's been about three weeks since I filmed that intro. I actually got coronavirus, was dead for about a week, and now I've been recovering for about a week, but I feel great. But it also gave me time to actually use this thing for three weeks before I just opened up the box and started talking about what I thought, right? Now I actually have a little perspective on what's going on here. And just look at this thing. Just look how big and Kirby, this big, beautiful BBW is. That stands for big, beautiful woman, I think, in the porno world. A big breasted woman, big booty woman, big, beautiful woman, I think. BBW, search it if you want, kind of fun. But I digress, as usual. Let's talk about a few things. Now, mostly, what we wanna know here is, is this thing worth $1,800? That's the most expensive monitor I've ever owned. And for it to be the most expensive monitor that I've ever owned, it better be the best monitor I've ever owned. So I'll talk, talk to you about that in a little bit after we talk about some things. Now, what we're gonna talk about today is what do I think about multitasking on it? What do I think about day trading on it? What do I think about video editing on it? And what do I think about photo editing on it? All the kind of main things that an entrepreneur or a trader or a creator or somebody that would buy this monitor actually do, but also gaming. I'm actually not gonna talk about gaming on this because I haven't, because I'm using a MacBook. It may come in a later video, but let's just talk about what's on my current setup right now. First, we have the Logitech C930 webcam. Whoopty freaking do. I also just picked up the Razer Nomo 2.0 speakers. Would I recommend these? Probably not. I probably wouldn't buy them again. There's no subwoofer and it really just lacks that bassy kick. Then I have the Apple flat black keyboards and trackpad and the brand new Logitech MX Master 3 built for Mac, which means I don't have to have the stupid Bluetooth dongle. I also have the 16 inch top spec MacBook Pro and of course the Samsung G9 Odyssey 49 inch. And then to film this, I'm using the Sony A7R3 with a 2.8 G Master 16 to 35 lens. I also have the Deity mic pro so that's basically the setup that i'm currently using and it's absolutely awesome along also with this custom made desk that i had made here in bali that's not what's important let's talk about what i think about multitasking on this thing and what's really cool is if you use the mac and you have the magnet app it's really easy to multitask i'm sitting here as if i had two 27 inch monitors on each side and i can simply change that and put any window over there by selecting the control button and the option and just left or right, right? Now that's one way to do it. The other way I've been doing it is splitting things up into thirds. Now, if I wanna do that, I say control alt, and I'm gonna do G, that's gonna put this in a third. If I put this in a third, I do control alt F, and then over here, I can do control alt D, right? Now it's just easily, has everything split in thirds. This is with the app called Magnet for Mac. I would imagine PC probably has this as well, but it just makes things really easy to quickly get things organized to do split screen on a dual 27 inch, or if you want to do in thirds, right? D, F, G. For multitasking, I've been really enjoying this, which brings me to my next Next point, and that just bas basically has to do with the ergonomics of this monitor. If you watched my God Mode review, which was the LG 49 inch monitors, I had dual stacked on top of each other, which was absolutely insane. But those monitors were not curved. And to go from viewing one corner to the next corner, I literally had to like move my chair to see what was going on in that corner. And that was very annoying. It made me not really like the monitor because it just seemed really impractical. The curve on this monitor is so fucking bendy and bendable, like the BBW horn term, very curvy, big, beautiful woman. I don't have to move my chair because there's so much bend everywhere I look it looks like it's almost centered. And so that much curve on this thing, while when I first sat down at this, I did not like it. I was like, this is fucking weird. It almost seemed distorted because this thing was so curved. But now after sitting here for three weeks, I'm used to it and now it just feels like everywhere I look, it looks like there is a monitor directly staring at me, front and center. As opposed to those 49 inch non-curves, I literally had to move my chair to find out what was going on because also the lighting and the light bleeding on those monitors kind of distorted the image unless you physically moved yourself to look at the monitor in the very far right of the 49 inches or the left of the 49 inches. So as far as multitasking goes in the ergonomic ability and angle of this, it's absolutely perfect. I love it. Moving on to day trading here, I do like it very much. And this 
this basically just comes down to multitasking, being able to have all my windows open, my MT4, my trading view, and then also my Discord. And it really helps to have this split in thirds. You know, if I want to have my Discord in one area, have my trading view over in the corner, and then open up my MT4 for trading right in the middle, right? So this is a really cool way to just have like almost a perfect trade setup. Chat with my community, trade on MT4, charting on TradingView. It's absolutely perfect. It's very clean. I don't have a bunch of stupid monitors that I have stacked up everywhere, getting messy, which it gets expensive. Not to say that this isn't fucking really expensive. This monitor costs what multiple monitors would cost. So that doesn't make sense. But as far as just, you know, just one stop shop, this is really great. And I've really been enjoying trading on this. But now as far as video editing goes, being able to look at this timeline and have it everything, everywhere I look, have this monitor staring at me is pretty awesome. Now, this was just a quick little promo I put together for heyforex.com, which is my new partner broker. You know, I do have a full-time editor, Norbert, who's editing this video, but I also do a lot of editing myself. I edited for 10 years before I decided to bring on some extra help and Norbert's been helping me crush with my hilarious commentary and then Norbert's funny overlays. We're a pretty good team. But I also do a lot of editing myself, such as this little quick promo ad, as you see here, heyforex.com. So with that said, I really do enjoy video editing on this. When you're video editing and you can have a really widescreen timeline, that makes things just much more efficient and much easier to do. So with that said, I really enjoy it and I definitely recommend video editing on this monitor. Now, the last task that most creators or somebody would do on this monitor is photo editing. And while I'm, I'm kind of used to it now, Look at this, doesn't this look crazy when you look at that on the screen? How much this thing drags and curves across that when I'm looking at the video? It's because that's literally what it looks like. There's almost a distortion when you're doing that, which was kind of bothersome for me when it came to editing photos, especially if you go full widescreen, you do feel like you see a little bit of distortion in the curve of the, of the monitor. I really didn't, again, like this monitor at all. The first 30 minutes of using this thing, I was like, what the fuck did I just waste $1,800 on? After adjusting myself to this for the last three weeks, I can only imagine how weird it would be to look at a flat screen 49 inch wide monitor right now. I, I would assume that if I went back to these monitors right here, which is the God Mode setup, dual 49 inch LG widescreen monitors with no curve, then that would look extremely weird to me because I'm so used to this BBW big beautiful woman. So that leads me to the final conclusion of, do I think this thing is worth $1,800? Now that's a pretty penny. If you don't got $1,800 lying around, I don't think you need this monitor. This is a novelty, it's a luxury. I wouldn't say if you're struggling for money, go spend $1,800 on this monitor. But I will say that it is the most expensive monitor I've ever purchased. And I will say it is my favorite monitor that I have ever purchased. So I am personally extremely happy with this monitor. I absolutely love it. And I just remember hating that when I had the 49 inch LG monitors that had no curve. So that's my conclusion. I absolutely love it. If you got 1800 bucks lying around and you wanna buy the best monitor in the game and have the best experience on gaming, photo editing, video editing, trading, this is the monitor to buy, the Samsung G9 Odyssey 49 inch. It's absolutely incredible. That's a wrap for today's video, guys. If you want access to all my day trading, entrepreneur, and YouTube courses for absolutely free, over $10,000 worth of value, all you gotta do is hit subscribe and you'll potentially see a secret advertisement with a secret promo code to get access to all those programs for absolutely free. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. If not, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you think spending almost $2,000 on a monitor, no matter how cool it is, is a good idea. And if you're gonna buy this or not. Anyways, guys, that's a wrap. See you in the next one. Peace.